Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Uh, this is Paul Berry with Ballistic Comics. And uh, this time, guys, I represent the shirt. You know, we got him on there. I got John Gunsmith. So let me tell you a little bit about John Gunsmith. Um, John was created um, from all the things that I loved about certain characters. And I really had a a strong connection to the characters I grew up with. So some of you might laugh and this might show my age a little bit, but uh, I was connected, very connected to things like, you know, Westerns, Lone Ranger, Zorro, um, Batman when I grew up and I started getting into comics. And um, I've always really been connected to characters who were cool. You know, they had something mysterious about them. And so, you know, I've never really seen too many, you know, uh, African-American, you know, comic characters who I felt like didn't fit in a certain particular mold that, you know, we, we always kind of get structured in, in a way. And so my idea was to come up with a story and an idea of something that really um, was fascinating to me. And that was make a assassin cowboy who is a part of an organization that hunts and fights monsters. I mean, we've seen some similar things like this before, uh, but this happened to be very interesting to me because I could do whatever I wanted with the character. And then the biggest thought of that character was, well, you know, how how can I put this character out? How can I market this character? Because there's so many comic characters and I didn't want to just put it out and have another trope character. Um, I didn't want to tokenize a character that I had. Um, and I just wanted to make a, a genuinely interesting story. And so uh, about three years ago, uh, while I was working on another project, I started thinking about this and started to conceptualize a lot of the, you know, uh, ideas that I had about it. I, actually about two years ago. Um, and so uh, a friend of mine who came on as the writer for a little bit, his name is uh, Jeremiah Bailey. Uh, and, you know, after I created the character and started thinking about it and how I was going to have him come in, and then we started to discuss it and, um, you know, how I came up with this series name that we came up with uh, was really, you know, kind of thrown in my lap by a, a really good friend of mine. Um, and so... You know, but the the name itself came from, you know, you have a chamber, you have rounds, and so rounds was the name of the book um, because the model of the organization that he works for happens to be, you know, they 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 build their organization structure off of the pieces and names of the part of a gun. Um, and it was it was just kind of interesting to do it that way. And, you know, um, basically the whole first issue, I mean, all of these are available on Amazon right now. I know this probably sounds like a plug, but you can go to Amazon. You can actually um, purchase. Uh, all of them are available for purchase except for number one and number six. Number six, because I'm actually taking it and um, I'm doing some some re edits. And I'd like to put the book out at a higher quality than what I was putting them out at. <clears throat> uh, because, and this brings a good point, um, one or two men creating a book every other month, that's pretty tough. And we, we weren't doing, you know, 11 pages, 12 pages. I mean, most of our pages for all the books are at least 20 and up. Um... And so that is a lot of work when you have a family and when you're creating and you're working and you're drawing. 
And so, you know, you have to learn to, when you're in the, these processes that um, some of this creation just, you know, you have to take a, a step back and say, okay, now what is feasible for me to do at this point? But making the rounds were really just the, the culmination of all the other ideas that I have thought about in the past and how can I make this character special? And he became special because John, unlike other people, um, isn't in our regular time. You know, most comic books are in modern time and modern days. And if they're not, they're fantasy, they're mythological in nature, they're, you know, space, they're sci-fi, right? But this was special to me, and it was because um, John has a lot to go through. He has a lot of, you know, things that he has to figure out. And I think once you connect to the character, you're going to really see that. So uh, I'll be back with more of these Making the Round uh, series videos to really kind of document and let you see and hear um, how I came up with these and what it was that got me to start thinking about, you know, producing a comic. Uh, so like I said, stay tuned, man. This is going to be a ride for everybody. It's a ride for me. Um, I'm excited. And Ballista Comics is coming with something very different. Uh, we are going to excite you and educate you. You guys have a good night.